Red or taking flight, yo. There used to be a time they when say black we ain't the rockers on the earth, but thank you, Jim. We here to save your soul. All the people would come and watch and listen to what they have to say. Now it's 2020. A man's thought come from his heart. Such a dream. Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. We here for you. We here to educate our people for so long. We calling ourselves black, African American. All this name the slave master gave us, right? right. But little we know our history is in the Bible. Right. Read that from me. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter seven and verse six. Read. For thou art a holy people uh -huh. unto the Lord thy God. So God said we are holy people. Holy meaning that we are separate people. Right. That's why black are most stronger. We are most smarter. But what they don't teach us that. What they show in the music videos, like we done, like we gangsters and thug. But we the greatest nation on earth. That's right. What they doing is they doing everything they could to portray us as bad people for that. So we will research our history. Keep going. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. So God has chosen us. That's why all these nations, they hate us. Do you wonder why in every city you go to, where do you find black people at? In the hood, right? It don't matter what city you go to. You go to Florida. You go to Detroit. You go to Mississippi. In every hood you go to, you always find our people. See? It's a setup. All that stuff is in the Bible. Our people, they think a white man wrote the Bible. No, our ancestor wrote the Bible. Let me ask you a question. If you buy your son a bicycle, right, and somebody stole the bicycle, 10 years later you see the bicycle. The bicycle still belongs to your son, right? That's the same thing with the Bible. All they did was they took our Bible, they resell it to us and use it against us, and they teach us this guy right here. This white boy. Ain't no white boy ever died for us. Christ is a black man according to the Bible. That's right. Keep reading, brother. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. God hath chosen us, we To be a special people. So we are special people to God. But we don't know that as a people because we are brainwashed. Everything we have learned so far, we learned from the school system. We have learned white supremacy. They never teach us our history. Every time they start our history, they start with slavery. No, our history is greater than that. That's our history world. started way before slavery. Bring you up, understand, God. brother? Read. To be a special people uh -huh. unto himself. Uh-huh, we special to God, we. Above all people. Equal to. Above all people. Black man, you above all people. Yeah. Hispanic yeah. man, you above all people. Yeah. But we don't know that as a people, because they brought us so low to a point that we just think that we some niggas. Nah, we God chosen people. That's we right. the prophet. We the real Jews according to the Bible. You understand, my brother? 
We above all people uh -huh. that are upon the face of the earth. So God said we above all people. But do it look like we above all people now? What they do? They put us in the lowest condition. So we could think that we just some niggas. We could think we just some spit. But now nah, we God chosen people. All right? So I'm going to show you some color in the Bible, all right? Give me Job 30 and 30. Yes, sir. What I say is, I say this Bible is our history book, right? So I have to prove it to you. Give me that. The book of Job, chapter 30 and verse 30. Uh huh. Oh, my skin is black. What? My skin is black. So what is it? My skin is black. So Job tell him, I am a black man, right? That's but right. do they tell you that Job is a black man? Now what they always have? White images, white images, right? Give me that um, Genesis 2 and 7, Adam. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The first man on the earth. Let's see what color he was. Everybody think the first man was white. Nah, we the original people. The people start with us. Our nation came from us, all right? Read that for me. The book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 7. Bring it out. And the Lord God uh -huh. formed the man uh -huh. of the dust of the ground. So God formed man out of the dust of the ground. What color is the dust of the ground, meaning the dirt? What's the color of the dirt? Different shades of brown, right? That's the right. deeper you go, the blacker you get, right? right. So they will say you Adam was a what? A black man, right? Say it loud. A black man, right? So the Bible is your history book, right? Give me another color scratch. Yes, sir. Give me another color scratch. What I'm showing you is everybody in the Bible is black. But in TV, what they show you? White images, white images. For so long, they've been drilling white images in our brain. We think that everybody in the Bible is white. But now, nah, our Bible, this is our Bible, this is our history book. All right, read that. The book of Revelation, chapter 1. In verse 14. Oh, that one. Stay that one. Let's see who we're talking about. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh-huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ. It said the revelation of Jesus Christ, right? So revelation means the revealing of Jesus Christ, right? We're about to play a game. We're about to see. Is this the right Jesus Christ or this the real one? All right? For so long they've been teaching us this. Keep going. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So you mean that the reveal of Jesus Christ, read. Which God gave unto him. So God gave unto him like... You seeing God, and when they said a reveal, that means that you seeing him, right? Bring it Jump out, to huh? verse 14. Verse 14. Uh-huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So it said the hair on his top and his beard was white like wool, right? So what what was wool? What chapter is wool? Wool is not a color, it's a texture. Right. So, like sheep, right? So who on this earth have sheep hair? So do this image have sheep hair? That's strike one, right? Keep going. As white as snow. Uh huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So they say his eyes were a flame of fire, right? What this? What color eye this 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 beast got? Blue eyes, right? Bring when he talk about his eyes ready to fly, I mean that he used to drink wine. You know how whenever we drink, our eyes turn red. But he never got drunk. He drank in moderation. Keep That's going. Right. And his feet like unto fine brass. So if I'm looking at your feet, your feet look the same color as the rest of your body, right? Right. So he say his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brown, right? So read on. As if they burned in a furnace. So you took that brass and you burned it in a furnace. What color it turned to? Black, right? So Christ was a what? A black man. Right? So where this image came from? What they doing is white supremacy. There you go. Pa there you go, pagan. It's all white supremacy. As long as you don't know Christ look like you, um, I'm just a nigga. That's why we walking around with our pants sagging. We the only people, right? Our Please woman, they'll shake their behind on videos. Have you ever seen a Chinese woman shake their behind on videos? Have you ever seen the Arab do the same thing? But our people, what we'll do? We'll go twerking all day, right? Showing that we brought ourselves to a low state. All right? So now, I'll show you that our, Bible, our history is in the Bible. So I'm about to show you some more history. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Start at verse 1. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 1. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou shalt hearken diligently uh -huh. Uh -huh. unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe and to do all his commandments. So God talking to Moses. Moses is another black man. You ever heard about Moses took the children of Israel out of Egypt, right? So Moses was talking to our ancestors this whole time. He was talking to us. So God said, if you, if you keep his laws, right? Right. You're going to be blessed above all nations, right? right? But it's always a flip side to it. Go to 15. Verse 15. Uh-huh. But it shall come to pass. So it says, but. But is a big word, meaning that future tense. It's going to happen, read. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses said to our ancestors, if you don't listen to God, meaning that you don't keep the commandments, read. To observe, to do all his commandments. So we don't do the commandment, read. And his statute, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee. And do what? And overtake thee. So Moses is saying to our ancestors, 
You don't want to keep God's laws? You're going to be cursed. A curse is a good thing or a bad thing? Bring it out, huh? Bad thing, right? Okay, if you look in the hood, y'all look on this side. Are we cursed? Are we cursed in the hood? Well, are we cursed, right? You can't go You can't go to Karma, find projects in Karma. You can't go to uh, Fisher, find project, messed up houses. But it don't matter what city you go to, you always find black in the ghettos in the worst condition. They designed it that way. But God used them. Because God said, you don't want to keep my laws? I'm a curse. Verse 16. Verse 16. Uh-huh. Cursed shall there be in the city. So God, Moses, so Moses said, you're going to be cursed in the city. Can you tell me an example of how we curse in the city, brother? Just give me some examples. There you go, police brutality. Uh, there you go, lack of job, uh huh, lack of education. Wet school, keep going. So you, you could tell that Bible is our history book, right? But when you go to church, do they teach you that? What they say? You go to church, the preachers um, read one verse and start singing and clapping his hand all day. When they get out of church, what did you learn? They ain't learned nothing. All they went to church have a good time. This pastor ain't teaching them. Keep going. And curse shall there be in the field. So we was cursed in the field, right? You know anything about slavery? How we was cursed in the field? Take a look at this picture. Take a look at this picture. What's that? There you go. We was picking cotton, right? Just like you said earlier, it's hard for us to find a job. We're the last hire and first fight. It's always like that. They always try their best they can to make sure that we can't find no job. As long as we can't find no job, that's why a lot of the youth, they think the first thing to do is to go steal. Soon they go steal, your name and the system, what they gonna do? They gonna try to put every charge, cause the prison system is a big business. Right, right. The younger, they don't know that. It's a big, it's, it's a billion dollar business. As long you you go out there, commit the crime, they put you in jail, they making money off of you. That's right. That's all they doing, you understand? All right, verse 17. Verse 17. Uh-huh. Cursed shall be thy basket. So cursing our basket, I'm still tying it to the job, right? Because you're saying that it's hard for us to find a job. Do we live paycheck to paycheck? Do you see people in Carmel living paycheck to paycheck? Right Efficient, Peace paycheck to paycheck? Nah, it's on the our people, right? right it don't out. matter what city you go to, the so-called black and Hispanic, we suffering the same thing. We the same people. The only thing is, it's just a light skin versus a black skin thing. Right we are the same people. Right what they did was they divide us. Make it seem like, oh, they better than us. You know how they be they be doing light skin better than dark skin? Right. How the hell I'm going uh, to go against my own brother? But we're in the same condition. Teach you you right. Keep going. Give me uh, 32. 32? Uh-huh. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So he's saying that your son and daughter should be given to another people. Who did that happen to? Think about slavery time. That they, did that happen to the white man? To the Arab man? The Chinese? The Japanese? Nah, that's our history book, brother. That's, that's what right. I'm telling you. This whole time, the Bible is our history book. But what they've been doing, they set up these churches to brainwash us. These pastors, some of them know, and some of them, they sell out. That's why the prophet, we are back on the earth to wake our people up. To let the people know that we are the real Israelite according to the Bible. You understand? Right. All right, give me that. Grow back new day. That's 29? Uh, 29. Yeah, read that for me. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 29. Uh-huh. And thou shalt grow at noonday uh -huh. as the blind. Grumpeth in darkness. So another curse for not keeping God's law, saying that you're going to be grope at noonday. So how do a blind grope? Can they see? You know how a blind, they be going like that, they can see, right? So the Most High said, we got two eyes, but we just like the blind. Right. We don't know what the hell going on. We don't know our nationality. We calling ourselves real niggas. We calling ourselves thug. Our yeah. woman calling themselves bad bees, hoes, all these different negative names, right? All he's doing is just putting our nation down. Because right. we are the same people. Yeah. We still in slavery. You understand that? All right. Give me verse 48. 48. Uh-huh. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 48. Uh-huh. Therefore, uh -huh. shalt thou serve thine enemies. Thy what? Thine enemies. Thy what? Thine enemies. So Moses saying that you don't want to keep God's laws, you're going to be serving your enemies. Right. Who's our enemies? The other nation. That's right. Friends don't put friends on slavery. Does friends put friends on slavery? Bring it out. Friends don't put a liquor store in every block, make sure that we get drunk right. all day. Do friends do that? Friends don't put set up. Friends don't put drugs on you, make sure that they could give you all the time. Because right. there's a lot of innocent black and Hispanics in prison right now for crime that they didn't commit. Right. Right. Just why? Just for the police could look good. So that they could look good, so their status could go up, so they could make more money. But all this stuff is a trap, right? Bring Just like our brother and sister, they be like, I'm about to trap. All that, all that thing is a setup. You understand? Keep going. Therefore, uh -huh. shalt thou serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee. So the Lord sent us against. Do you remember why God sent his enemies against us? Because I said it earlier. What did we do wrong? There you go. We 
ain't follow the commandment. Good That's job, right. my brother. Grab it up for the brother. He listening, all right? Praise the brother listening. Cause too many people when they come, they don't want to listen. All right. Hey, my brother with the black shirt. You know you God chosen people according to the Bible. You know you the greatest man on the earth. Hey, come talk to me, my brother. My sister, come talk to me, my sister. You know you the greatest woman on the earth, but we don't know that as a people. That's why we in the hood. That's why we in the ghettos. You understand? Teacher. All right. Keep reading that. Which the Lord shall send against thee uh -huh. in hunger. So if you need anything to drink, where do you go get it? Do we have, do we have like, who own them stores? <laughs> well, who, who, who own the stores? White people. white people in area, right? So God said that same enemy, you're going to want for water. Water's supposed to be free in the sky, right? So why the hell are they selling us water? Bring it out. It's supposed to be free, right? So God said, you want anything to drink? You're going to go to them. They could turn off our water whenever they want. Jesus. We can't even do nothing about it. All right, read. And in thirst. And in thirst. Uh-huh. And in nakedness. If you want clothes, where do we go get the clothes? Do we, for example, I see you got Jordans on, right? Do Jordan on Jordan? Who on it? Nike on Jordan, right? Jordan. All he did was put his name on it. A lot of people think Jordan on that. Nah, Nike on it. Who on it by a white man? So God said, you don't want to keep my laws? You gonna serve on in nakedness? You want a T-shirt, a pants? You gotta go to the other nation. Who that fit? Only us. That don't fit the white man. That don't fit the Arab. Cause the Arab, they on every gas station in the hood, and they don't give back to the hood. What they do? They take the money out the hood. There you go. They take the money out the hood and take it to their community. And they come to your face talking about, I got fried chicken. I got all these different things, right? But they know how to catch our attention because our people, they lost. Read. And then one of all things. It don't matter what you want, brother. You got to go to your enemy for it. For example, you need an education, like you said. Where do we go? Do we got a black school system? We go to the white man, right? You need religion. Where do you go? You go You go to them, right? You need a, a, a death certificate. Where you go? To them. You need a driver license. Where do you go? To them, right? It don't matter what you want, you go to them. How you doing, my sister? How you doing, my sister? Step right here, right? Quick. What are we out here to do, my sister? We are here to teach you that you're the greatest woman on the earth. For so long that we don't know that we're the real Jews according to the Bible. The Bible is our history book. So what I'm doing showing my brother is that all this thing in the Bible only pertain to us. But we don't know that as a people, all right? Keep going. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And it said that same enemy should put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Who have iron on their neck? Bring it out. Slave, right? Who's that? Our people, right? That ain't happen to no white man. That ain't happen to no Arab man. Right. They own it to the so-called black and Hispanic. Because it was Hispanic, right. they went to slavery too. Right. You understand? Read. Until we have destroyed thee. Until we destroy. Are we destroyed as a people right now? Yes. That's the reason why we don't know that we are the real Jews. We don't know that we're the Israelite. Right. What are we calling ourselves today? African American. Right. Black. Jamaican. Right. Haitian. Puerto Rican, Dominican, but God gave us name. God calls Judah, Benjamin, Levi. We are royal to the God, right? Um, let me show him now what um what Israel mean. Give me that in Genesis. Genesis um 32, 28. Yeah, 32, 28. Let me show you what the name Israel mean. Our, our name Israel is a powerful name, but we don't know that. We must return back to our God. Read it. The book of Genesis, chapter 32 and verse 28. Uh -huh. And he said, uh -huh. thy name shall no more be called Jacob. Why? But Israel, why? For as a prince, uh -huh. hast thou power with God? So Israel, man, you have power with God. There's a right. strong connection with God, but we don't know that as a people. Right. We gotta get out this crazy name they calling us black. All right, give me that the Bible in Proverbs. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight and verse thirty-seven. Uh huh. And thou shalt become an astonishment. God said we're gonna become an astonishment, meaning that. All these other nations, they see us, they're like, man, is these supposed to be God chosen people? Right. they looking down on us. But they know we God chosen people. But does your enemy always going to tell you the truth about yourself? He always going to tell you the wrong thing, right? Keep, Keep going. going. And thou shalt go. And thou shalt become an astonishment. Uh huh. A proverb. A proverb is like a wise saying. What one thing they always saying about the black man or the black woman today? One thing all these other people always saying. If you want to hide something from the black man, where do you put it? Put it in the book, right? Why? Cause they know that we're not gonna research this stuff. Just like when we come out here today, we're telling our people we're the greatest people on earth. Most of our, most of our people, they're not gonna research it. You know why? Cause the white men already did a, a psychological thing to their brain to a point that uh, I don't care about that stuff. You understand? Read a proverb uh -huh. and a byword. God said Moses said they're gonna call us a byword. A byword is anything outside God given name. Right. God called us right. Judah, Benjamin, Levi. What they call us today? African American. African American is two white men. We're not fun to white men. Right. You understand? 
We God chose the people. Yes, and they call right. us Benjamin. I mean, they call us Jamaican, Haitian, Puerto Rican. So God said, you don't want to keep my laws. All this stuff going to happen to you. Jump to verse 46. 46. Yes, sir. Verse 46. Uh-huh. And they shall be upon thee. So Moses said the same sign, that power, the proverb, and an astonishment, they're going to be in a sign and do what? Upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. So if you look at a sign, what a sign do? Like a sign. If you see a... Yeah, what it identify with. There you go. Same thing. Moses saying that the same curses, when you see those curses on those people, that's how you know they're the real children of Israel. Some people in Israel calling themselves um, Jews. Did they ever went to slavery? No. Did they ever have their son and daughter sell to another people? No. That only happened to the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans. Yes, that's that's right. our history book. Read. Right. And they shall be upon thee for a sign uh -huh. and for a wonder uh -huh. and upon thy seed uh -huh. forever. So they said the same sign going to be upon your seed, meaning that your grandparents, when they had kids, they went to the slavery, right? What happened after slavery? Jim Crow laws. What happened that prison system, right? They said this sign going to be on you forever and ever until we repent, return back to the most high. All right? Jump to 48. Hey, how you, how you doing today, my buddy? Come on, phone right quick. Jump to uh, 68. 68. Uh-huh. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Uh-huh. And the Lord shall bring thee uh -huh. into Egypt again. So God said he going to bring us to Egypt. The first time we was in Egypt, we walked out of Egypt. Because earlier I told you if you remember that story about Moses when he brought his Israelite out of Egypt, right? So God said he's going to go back to Egypt again. Egypt, give me what Egypt means in um, Exodus yes, sir. 22. Okay. Let's see what Egypt means. Because the Egypt name is a Greek word, right? A lot of people, when they hear Egypt, they think that we literally went to the same place called Egypt. But it's a metaphor for something. Read. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. Uh-huh. I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, uh -huh. out of the house of bondage. What Egypt mean? Read it again for him, for he can hear it. The book of Exodus, chapter uh, 20 and verse 2. Uh-huh. I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Uh-huh. Out of the land of Egypt, read. Out of the house of bondage. It said out of the house of bondage. What another word for bondage? Read. When somebody puts me in bondage. Read, Chain, right? So it's saying that I'm the one who brought you. So when you talk about Egypt, it's talking about slavery. Hey, All right, hey. go back again. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Uh-huh. Yeah. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So the Lord going to bring you to slavery again. Read. With ships. With what? Ships. With what? Ships. Who went on slavery on slave ship, my sister? Who went on slavery with ships? <laughs> Us, right? We the only people went in slavery on ship. That ain't happened to the so-called white man in Israel calling themselves the real Jews. All they doing is they stole our nationality. Read. By the way whereof, the same way I'm telling you, read, I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. So when we came, when we got off the slave ship here in America, did we return back to the west coast of Africa? We still here in America, right? For so long, we've been here for so long to a point that we forget our history. But this is the reason why we're back here. We're trying to wake our people up, let them know that we're the greatest people on the earth, all right? That's right. Read. And there uh -huh. you shall be sold unto your enemies. Unto your what? Unto your enemies. What God called his other nation? The people who put us in slavery. What he call them? Bring it out, huh? Say it louder, brother. Our enemies. Our enemies, right? So the next black man is not your enemy. Peace. So from block to block, gang banging, that's not your enemy. That's we right. being oppressed together. How can I be enemy with my brother when we're in the same condition? Bring it you out. see what they did? All they did was they put us in the worst condition so we could bang, gang bang against each other, so we could hate each other. So that's why a lot of time our brothers, what are they doing? Killing each other for a block? Do we own those blocks? Who own those blocks? They air revving on the block because he got his stole. He making money from the block, right? He own all the stores on the block. We don't own the block, but we'll die for the block. Have you ever seen a block, a block die for a black man? The block always going to be there. We're going to keep dying, killing ourselves for nonsense, and the block always going to be there. Right. Our, our four parents was doing it back then to this day. The youngest, they doing the same thing today. You know why? Because the older generation, they're not teaching them right. Yeah. The older generation doing the same thing the younger generation doing. What is that? How can the man who's supposed to teach you doing the exact same thing you're doing, getting drunk, getting high, sleeping around with different women, how can you teach the next young man a better thing if you're doing the same thing they're doing? Bring it out. You understand, my brother? See. I'm just trying to make sure it gets to your brain so you can understand. This is our history book. We've been lost as the people. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. For what? For bond men. For bond men, meaning that slave men. Read. And bond women. Uh-huh, for slave women. Who did that happen to again? That happened to us, right? Okay, give me Deuteronomy 427. 
No, 64. Get 64. Say the same thing. 64. Scatter, yeah. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 64. Uh huh. And the Lord shall scatter thee. And do what? The Lord shall scatter thee. So who will scatter? Let's see, what's that sound? There you go. So God said He's going to scatter us, right? We came from the west coast of Africa. We came from Africa, the west coast of Africa, right? Africa is a, is a white man name. Before that, it was called the land of him. All right? We came from the west coast of Africa. Read. Among all people. So God said he's going to scatter us among all people. Who did that happen to? To us, right? right. Did the white man get scattered among all people? Right. No. That's why all they did was they took us from here and they brought us to all these different places. That's why we don't know who we are. Read. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people uh -huh. from the one end of the earth. So we went from one end to another. The same thing they was doing to the so-called Hispanics today, they were taking them from here and shipping them to Europe, to Spain, to the uh, to, uh, the Caribbean. Jesus. We're the same people. Jesus. We just don't know that. Read. Even unto the other. And to, even to the other. Give me, huh? And there. And what? And there and thou shalt serve other gods. That's why we were serving this man right here. Right. So we got on them slave ship, what master did? You ever seen Ruth? They beat this image down through our throat for so long right. to a point that we think Christ is a white man. But the Bible said Christ is a black man. That's he right. Like me, he look like you. And all these black people in the project, he look just like us. Right. But we don't know that as a people. All right? Read. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Our forefathers, they didn't know this guy. Before we went to slavery, they didn't know this guy. So all they doing was they beating this thing down our brain. That's why a lot of our brothers and sisters, they're like, man, I don't believe in this Bible stuff. But little they know, the Bible is their history book. Like I said, though, the enemy is never going to teach you the right thing about yourself, right? right. Read. Even wood and stone. What's, what's the two biggest religion on the earth right now? The Christ, Christianity. Uh, and what else? And Islam. That's the two big religion our people serving today. But God said don't do that stuff. You understand? Read. And among these nations uh -huh. shalt thou find no ease. So we ain't find no ease. Ever since then they gave us this white image, have we found ease on this earth? Nah, what they doing? They killing us. Give me that limitation, five and five. The book of Lamentations, uh -huh. chapter five and verse five. Uh -huh. Our necks. Our what? Our necks. So what did they do to uh, Freud? Did they put their foot in his neck? Read. Our necks uh -huh. are under persecution. Are we under persecution? We can't be walking our block without police harassing us. We can't be walking our block without word of man if I'm going to make it home today. That's only happening to us. Can you go to Coma, the Fisher, all this white neighborhood? Can they feel the same way as us? Nah. That's only happening to us because God said, I'm putting these curses on you. You better return to my laws. Read. And have no rest. We have no rest till this day. Have we have no rest? We Till this day, man, we have no rest, all right? Give me um, Deuteronomy 28 42. Right quick, then I'm going to get Deuteronomy 10 and 12, all right? Okay. So you've been standing around, brother. Your spirit bear witness to the Bible, because you know it's true. Can you tell this is a black man book? Jeez. So why do they teach teaching us all white images? Just to brainwash us. For, there you go. Look, for this whole time, you probably never thought Christ was a black man. Never thought that. Oh, okay. you know this, I'm a pagan guy. Yeah, true. And they try to change him over. Uh-huh. To look more like them? Polite. There, there you go. But our praise, our praise. So now we're showing that history, our history is actually in the Bible, but we just don't know it as a people. Read that for me. Okay. Yeah. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 43. Uh huh. Wow. The stranger. The what? The stranger. The what? The stranger. Hey, sister. Sister, come back, sister. We still got to talk to you, sister. Okay, sister, keep going. The stranger that is within thee. So God said these strangers, meaning that this other nation, we shall get up above thee very high. All this other nation above us right now, where we at? We're on the bottom, right? But look, do you know all that stuff is in the Bible? Read. And thou shalt come down very low. Be what? And thou shalt come down very low. That's another curse. You don't want to keep God's laws? You're going to be come down very low. Right. Are we down? That's how you know the Bible is our history book. That's right. right. So, brother, if I ask you what's your nationality, what you going to say? You're what? Come closer, That's brother. You got to right. stand the mic, brother. Come closer. Say I'm an Israelite. All right. All right. All right. Clap it up for the brother. Clap it up for the brother, all right? We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. 
Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.